Hey guys, what's up? Plastic Guy here, coming back with another figure review, and today we're taking a look at these new McFarlane movie Batman and Joker from The Dark Knight, and I think these are really cool. Uh, the Dark Knight came out 15 years ago, and to get figures from that film in 2023, I think it's awesome. The Dark Knight is still one of my favourite trilogies, I think it's the second best after Lord of the Rings. I'm a massive fan, I think the characters are great, all the acting in it is amazing, uh, the story is incredible. I rewatched the Dark Knight trilogy recently and I'm still a massive fan. I've seen some people say that it doesn't really hold up, but I totally disagree. I think it's amazing and I'm so glad that we are getting new figures from this trilogy all these years later. So of course I had to pick these two up and I wanted to take a closer look at them here on the channel. Before we jump into it, let me know down in the comment section below if you guys are picking these figures up, what you guys think of the Dark Knight trilogy. While you're down there guys, if you could do me a massive favour, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, then please hit that subscribe button. And let's not wait any longer, let's take a closer look at these new Batman and Joker action figures from McFarlane Toys. So we'll start with the boxes as always and it's just the exact same as what we've always got from McFarlane with these window displays. Batman logo up the top, we get the trading card, we get the stand, standard with these McFarlane figures and then on the back of the box, same with this one here, trading card's different but yeah we do get the stand, the trading card and then the back of the box here, it shows you what build a figure pieces you're getting, the other cards and figures that are in the wave and I have to say I'm pretty impressed with the build a figure, I think it is really cool. I was really tempted to pick up the whole wave so I could get Bane but really Really, at the end of the day, the Joker and the Batman were the main ones for me and I was happy sticking with them. But if you got Two-Face and Scarecrow, you would be able to build Bane and that's awesome. I'm, I'm, I think that's really cool from McFarlane. Um, a Bane builder figure is definitely something I could get behind. I'm not a massive fan of builder figures, I don't have many at all, I've only got a couple. But yeah, Bane was really tempting and a really cool character to include as the builder figure. With Batman, we get three identical Batarangs, a golden grappling gun, and Bane's legs. And then with the Joker, we get a load of hands for Bane and Bane's head. So it is pretty cool that I got the Bane head sculpt. Um, I don't know, I might eventually end up selling the builder figure pieces on, as I probably won't end up building them, but who knows? We also get this big stack of money with Joker. And that is the only accessory that Joker comes with, and I will say I think that's pretty weak. No weapons for the Joker, not even a knife. Yeah, yeah, a bit gutten, but the big pile of money with the port for his foot is pretty cool. At least we do get something. You know, the three bat rings with Batman, decent. The grappling gun, decent. And the big pile of money for Joker, decent, but it is a big letdown that we don't get a knife or any sort of gun or any weapon at all, but... Yeah, the weapon stack, uh, the money stack's decent, and let's just start with Joker. Starting with the head sculpt, I think this is really good. I think they have nailed the hair. The colours and the sculpt of the hair is excellent. I love the way it looks. <laughs> yeah, really screen accurate, good uh, to the kind of stock posters and everything for Joker. Hair's great, and the face is pretty damn good as well. I think for McFarlane, this is one of the better likenesses. I wasn't too sure at first, but yeah, getting this thing in hand, it looks really good. Um, I mean, I guess the likeness could be a wee bit better, but... <laughs> You know exactly who that is. I mean, of course the makeup's a big giveaway, but it looks like Heath Ledger. I, I think it is a really good head sculpt from McFarlane. Uh, I do like how you can see the lines in the forehead there and how the whites uh, kind of tone down along the lines. The only thing I would say is the way the makeup is in the bottom of the eye, I would have quite liked to have seen that at the top. Um, it looks very just kind of... Uh, well applied going along the top of the eye and then it looks very jokerish at the bottom I think it could be a bit better looking if it was as messy at the top of the eyes and it kind of went up a bit um, but maybe that's just a minor 
personal thing. Um, there's just something a wee bit off about the face sculpt and I think it's the eye makeup and I think it should come up a wee bit. I was also thinking it would have been awesome if we got an alternate head sculpt where the makeup was just you know, completely worn and really messy like how we see Joker later on in the film. It would have been awesome to get a second head sculpt with that sort of variant but you know this is absolutely, this is good, this is a, a good McFarlane head sculpt. The lips and the paint going around the lips is really good, you know it's, it's not messy at all, there's no like mess paint, anything like that. Um, I think the head sculpt's a winner, I'm really happy with it, um, especially because the only other Joker figures I have are the Mattel Movie Masters, and I mean, comparing these to the McFarlane absolutely takes the cake. This head sculpt is awful, especially talking about like the eye makeup and things, <sighs> yeah. McFarlane absolutely smashes this thing out the water, but the Mattel Movie Masters that I do really like is this one here, and as far as I know, they had to shelve this figure, they had to take it off the shelves I should say um, because I heard it was like scaring kids but I don't know if that was just a rumour but once again I think the McFarlane one does look a bit better overall and um, we can compare these a bit more later on but great Joker Heath Ledger McFarlane head sculpt here and then the rest of the body I think is absolutely fine and um, I'm not like, oh, I'm not 100% sure how screen accurate this is but it definitely resembles the Joker's costume to me. I really like the long purple coat, I like all the colours they've used, I like how the gloves are a slightly different purple to the coat so they do stand out, it doesn't all merge into one another. You've got the green waistcoat here and oh well I was going to try and open it up but it is kind of stuck down there but you've got the green waistcoat different colour green shirt and tie there. I guess the shirt I'm more kind of familiar with uh, the pattern shirt here and that would have been cool to see but comparing these two yeah they both kind of got the dark green shirts and the dark green ties you can see the costume is very similar on these two figures they've even got the chain the Mattel has the silver chain McFarlane's got the gold and then the trousers look very similar as well. We've got the more brown boots. I think the colors on this thing really pop. I really like it. Um, it looks like a great Joker. I really don't have much complaints at all. I've been posing this thing around the last couple of days and I've had a lot of fun with it. Especially posing them around with Batman. It is a really fun figure, especially for the 20 pound price mark. I don't have much complaints with this thing at all. And then we have Batman, and I'll probably make some similar comments for Batman uh, to the ones that I did with the Joker. I am I, McFarlane's very hit or miss for me. I've had McFarlane figures that I've really disliked. Uh, they've had a lot of problems, QC issues, and things like that. And then I've had a lot of McFarlane figures that I do like, especially the recent Michael Keaton Batman. Thought that was a really good Batman figure. And then of course we've got this other movie Batman here and being a big fan of The Dark Knight I pre-ordered this as soon as they went up um, and shortly after that images leaked off this Batman figure and it looked pretty bad I'm not gonna lie uh, the face sculpt looked really bad and it looked a bit you know dispro uh, disproportioned but Getting this thing in hand, I think it is actually pretty good. Uh, same as the Joker, this is a really decent figure. And starting with the head sculpt, I think the head sculpt is really good. Looking at the camera right now, the eyes look really kind of bad. In person, doesn't look as bad as it does on camera. On camera, it looks like he's probably blind. Um, the eyes are a bit off and that's what I was going to say, similar to the Joker, head sculpt's really good but there is a slight thing going on that looks a bit offish and for this one it might be the eyes. Um, the sculpt and the cowl and the ears look great but yeah the eyes are a bit offish and I did think that before and I'm kind of realising it must be the eyes that has put me off this head sculpt a wee bit but for the most part I think it looks really good, really screen accurate, uh, the mouth and everything looks fine. And then you've got the body. Once again, I've seen folks saying it's not very movie accurate. This looks very reminiscent of the movie to me, 
but the main thing I think is the colours of this suit. They've kind of mixed a lot of light grey with black and when I think of the Dark Knight costume, I think of an all black costume. The Mattel Movie Masters, I think did it really well with the colours here, it's very dark, there are sort of lighter greys mixed in here, but it's definitely more standout-ish on the McFarlane figure here, and I've seen a lot of folk complaining about the colours, I do think the colours are off, but, and that is probably my main complaint about the figures, the colours being off, but I think the sculpt is really good. I think there's a lot of attention to detail going on here that I really, really like. Um, once again, not sure how movie accurate it is, but it looks reminiscent of The Dark Knight to me. And I love what they've done here. I mean, looking at the neck, all the texturing going on in the middle, all the sculpted detail is fantastic. The cape is your kind of sculpted plastic cape. It's not bad at all. It does the trick. You've got the chest logo here, and yeah, I do think that's just a bit too light grey. But the arms, I love the attention to detail in the arms, all the textured parts going on, and I love the gauntlets as well. I always wondered, you know, you, you see that scene in The Dark Knight where Bruce Wayne hits the gauntlets and the blades come flying out, and you've got the six blades, and then you don't really see the gauntlets that clearly or i've not picked it up when i've been watching the film if he did in fact have the six gauntlets on the other figures like the uh, mattel movie masters they're a lot closer together so it looks more like the classic like three blades that um he has in the comics i just think this looks really cool i think mcfarlane have nailed it and um, on the gauntlets I, I don't know if that's just me being goofy but i love the look of them on this figure the belt's really good i love the gold i think it's sculpted really nicely love the chest here with all the texturing in the background and while we're on it not the chest the stomach area i think looks really good and that is one thing i noticed it's pretty easy to like move the chest around and this bit here when i was taking photos was proper to the side and it was kind of like that and I didn't even notice and I was taking a load of pictures and then I realised that his stomach was totally uh, turned around. So yeah, a lot of movement going on here that you need to be wary of if you're posing this thing around. And um, you've got the legs here and I think they're really nicely sculpted. They look screen accurate to me. And then you've got the boots. So this is a really nice figure. I think overall, once again, for that £20 price mark, this is a good Dark Knight figure but the colours are a bit off and uh, yeah that's it I mean th this is I'm, I'm really happy with this I expected to go into this video kind of dogging on these McFarlane figures a bit and let's compare them to the movie masters so I can you know extend my point a little and here is our new McFarlane Dark Knight Batman next to the Mattel Movie Masters Batman Begins and Dark Knight Rises Batman and I love the Mattel Movie Masters Dark Knight figures. I made a bit of a collection video uh, on them before but big fan of the Mattel Movie Masters. I think that they're often overlooked. They're pretty cheap, even still uh, you can get them cheap on eBay and they're nicely sculpted, good paint apps and they scale pretty well with other six inch figures. It just kind of depends, but um, I really expected to much prefer these figures over the new McFarlane line. But I have to say I've had a lot of fun the last couple of days with the Batman and the Joker and posing them together. There's a great range of movement on the McFarlane figures that you just don't really get with the Mattel Movie Masters. Sculpting level, they're both really good. The colours are probably a bit better on the Mattel Movie Masters, but I don't know. I've had a lot of fun with uh, the new Batman and Joker, so... Yeah, I, both really good Batman figures and I would actually highly recommend them both. Um, yeah, I, I guess it's just up to you and what kind of scale you want to go for. And then we have our new McFarlane Joker figure next to the Mattel Movie Masters Joker figures and basically just the same comments. Both are really good figures, obviously different in scale, but once again the range of movement on this new McFarlane figure is a lot better. And I would even say the colours on this new McFarlane figure are a lot better than the old Mattel Movie Masters, which obviously I couldn't say with the Batman figure. 
Um, yeah, a lot of fun with this new Joker. I do think it is better than these older Joker figures. And what I would say as well is if you're wanting another Heath Ledger Joker figure, you're probably going to struggle a bit. Um, the only other ones out there are like NECA and to get like a legit NECA figure at this point is going to cost you a lot of money or you're going to end up picking up a fake slash knockoff and that's the same with the sort of import figures. The only other Heath Ledger jokers I can think of are your Mafex and other companies alike which once again you're either going to pick up a fake knockoff or you're going to be splashing the cash, especially at this point where they're out of circulation. So in terms of your Heath Ledger Joker figures at an affordable price, you're talking the Mattel Movie Masters and the McFarlane Joker here, and I would definitely say the McFarlane Joker would be worth it. And the Mattel Movie Masters are worth it, but I've had a lot of fun with the Joker recently. And so there we have it for our new McFarlane movie, Batman and Joker, the Dark Knight action figures. And I feel like I've said everything that needs to be said uh, from my point of view. I really like these figures and I would definitely recommend them at that £20 price mark. I mean, you really can't beat that. McFarlane are definitely the cheapest action figures on the market at the moment. And at this quality, I really can't complain. I mean, yeah, I've got my gripes with the Batman. It's The colours of it are a bit off. The eyes are a bit dodgy, but that's it. I mean, apart from that, I'm really stoked with it. Um, I've had a lot of fun posing both of these figures the last couple of days. And yeah, I, I, I'm, really, uh, I'm really chuffed with them. And as I've said before, I, it's really hit or miss for me with McFarlane. I picked up a few figures where I just think, it's, it's a bit dodgy, I wouldn't pay the £20 price mark, I've had a lot of QC issues but then recently I got the Michael Keaton, the Flash Batman, was really happy with it and I'm really happy with these two here so I'm really hoping McFarlane keep releasing movie Batman figures, it would be awesome to get the likes of like a Batman and Robin line, as bad as that movie is, as terrible as that movie is, some of the character designs are awesome and would translate so well in figure form, I would love to see McFarlane go for something like that. So let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these figures here. I'm really liking them and um, let me know what you guys think let me know what you would like to see from McFarlane next and while you're down there guys as always if you could do me a massive favor hit that like button if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button I'll leave the link to my Instagram in the description below where I'll definitely be posting pictures of Batman and Joker over there it'd mean a lot if you could hop on and check out the Insta and feel free to hop on over to the channel page as well check out any of my other videos there's definitely a lot of Batman figure reviews up on there so it'd mean a lot if you could check that out and it means a lot that you've checked out this video right here so thank you so much for watching and as always i'll catch you on the flip flop later cheers